everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the royal kitchens of India to bring you a simplified yet utterly delicious recipe for Shahi Tukre. This dessert is a true testament to the rich culinary heritage of India and I am here to show you how you can make it right at home with minimal efforts. So let's get started. For this recipe, you need white bread, ghee for shallow fry and for rabri, the ingredients I mentioned on the screen. You can also have orange food color for the vibrant look. Uh, these all ingredients, you'll find it in your kitchen. They are simple ingredients and promise you to create something spectacular. First up, let's prepare our bread. I'm trimming the edges off but don't throw these away. We'll dry them out and grind them into breadcrumbs for another use. Next, we will cut our bread into triangles. While traditionally these are deep fried, but we are going for a bit healthier version today. We will shallow fry them in ghee until they are crispy and beautifully brown. Let's get frying. Your bread should look something like this, crispy and brown. Once done, you have to keep them aside to cool them off. And now, we'll start preparing our rabri. You need almonds, pistachio, cashews, 2-3 to three green cardamom, some saffron, sugar and milk. Now, we'll take a blender toss in pistachios, almonds, cashews and we will grind them into fine mixture. This little trick speeds up the process and ensures our rubbery is packed with flavors. Now grab a pan and pour your milk, warm it up gently and add the saffron strands to infuse their exquisite color and flavor. Next goes in our ground dry fruit powder, a few crushed green cardamom pods and sugar to taste. Remember to stir occasionally preventing the mixture from sticking to the bottom. touch of royal elegance I'm adding a bit of orange food color this step is optional but it does make a rubbery look more uh, even more tempting you can add it or you can leave it that's all up to you Let's 
assemble a shahi tukre. We'll take a container and lay down the fried bread triangle. We will then pour the rubbery milk over them, ensuring they are completely soaked in that milky goodness. Once done, you have to close the lid and let it chill in the fridge. After some patience, it's time to serve. Plate up these beauties, sprinkle some chopped pistachio on top of it, and there you have it. Your easy, fast shahi tukre ready to enhance your taste buds. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Stay tuned and happy cooking!